Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm incredibly excited to tour this home and to show it to you because I feel like after this video, this home is not going to last long. I know every realtor says this, but this property has a very unique value packed proposition with lots of luxury finishes. But before I get into this tour, I would like to thank listing agent David Mitchie and the developer Perry Homes for giving us an opportunity to show you this beautiful property. Let me tell you a little bit about this home. As you can see, it has modern contemporary architectural finishes, which are almost, it's becoming a new thing for Southern Utah, because if you look around, most of this home, most of the homes in this particular neighborhood are not as modern as this property, but this look is thankfully catching on and I absolutely love it. It is a corner lot and this property has RV parking with full hookups. But let me tell you about the stats of this beautiful home. It is 2,541 square feet, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, and it has a three car garage. Now, the really unique value proposition of this home is it has a lot of the things that our clients really want, but when you add all of these features to the property, you end up well over a million dollars. So this home has a casita, Thermador appliances, three car garage, RV parking, and incredible views. Folks, I say this in every single video, but a full MLS link is available for this property in the description below. I feel strongly that at the current pricing of this property, it is not going to last long. So if you'd like a private tour of this home, please give me a call, shoot me an email, contact me. The contact information is all over this channel. So let's, let's take a closer look at this property so you can see for yourself why I'm at awe at how, how well priced it is right now. Zero scape landscaping out front. Casita sort of has its own garage. And then you have a two car garage attached to the main house. And you access this property through this private courtyard. So the courtyard has the man door to access the garage and you could also access the casita through these double doors. This front door is totally private. The courtyard door has a lock on it so you can lock away this entire area. And it is a two-story property. So you have the staircase that takes you upstairs, but we'll talk more about that once we get there. And from the second you enter this home, you, you really start to appreciate the finishes that were selected for it. Really modern touches with light fixtures. And this home is beautifully staged and decorated right now just to give you guys a better idea of what your furniture may look like because these properties look a lot better with finished spaces. We have a fireplace with a beautiful accent wall in the living room and it opens, this, this floor plan on the main floor is very open and it opens to a dining room and this incredible designer kitchen. Here we have Thermador microwave and a wall oven, beautiful under lighting under the cabinets, Thermador dishwasher, Thermador uh, range hood, and a Thermador five burner cooktop, of course, with a Thermador refrigerator with a bottom freezer. I'm truly impressed by this level of kitchen in this price range. Typically you don't see Thermador appliances in homes well under $2 million, and this property is kind of a jam for having that. Now, as we look at the layout of this space, the kitchen opens into the living room. And while this space is not overwhelming, you have a double slider that takes you outside. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's continue exploring the rest of this beautiful home. This hallway takes us down to the garage. It has a linen closet right here, a powder bath here, and I absolutely love the detail in this powder bath. You have floor to ceiling tile, incredible modern sink, and the laundry room has plenty of space and lots of natural light through this big window that opens into your courtyard. Now, one thing that a lot of our clients ask for is this rod because sometimes you like to hang things up right after you pull them out of the washer. This home has that, as well as these beautiful built ins right outside the garage door. So a lot of the details that we see in this home are really kind of, I can't live without type details. I'm really excited about the primary bathroom and bedroom in this home. This bedroom is massive. It accommodates a king size bed and two nightstands perfectly. 
has a space saving barn door that takes you into a primary bath. Primary bath has a soaking tub with beautiful tile details. So there's gray, white, and gold consistent throughout this entire property. And directly across from it, check this out, folks. I usually don't get super excited about things that are not the most practical, but this shower has a massive bench. It is a steam shower that has full body jets on both sides, as well as a rainfall shower head up above me. Now this is, this is kind of cool. So I don't know how often you would practically use this, but this remote allows you to control these waterproof lights that are built into this tile. And if you can't already tell from the acoustics, this shower has tile pretty much all around me. It's, it's absolutely awesome. So you could turn this into a steam room and maybe, maybe you're not feeling, maybe you're feeling a little blue today. So you could change it to blue or you could completely turn it off or you could set it to a neutral color. And I'm sure that this could probably connect to your phone and there's a million other settings that you didn't know you needed are available for this. Up above a bathtub, we have a frosted glass window that allows some natural light. And again, look at the size of this primary master. It's absolutely massive. You know what? I did not show you the primary dressing. So we have a dual vanity with beautiful countertops here gold Moen hardware throughout and primary dressing. It's not overwhelming size, but it's about equal space on both sides and you really have, really have some room to put your things. So this is the main floor of this home. Let's head upstairs and take a look at that. I love the modern open railing. Feels really light, really airy. You have really high ceilings throughout this, this part and the steps have a wood finish on the exterior with really softly padded carpet on the inside. Well, remember how I was telling you that uh, main level did not have a ton of room in the living room. So you have a second living room, sitting room, entertainment room that opens to this beautiful patio. The patio opens to the south of the property and you get to enjoy some awesome afternoon and morning views. So I don't know if that's quite the south of the property. It's actually the north of the property. So to the north, you have views, beautiful views of Pine Valley Mountain. You're kind of up above the entire neighborhood. And one thing that's really cool about this property is as we go full circle around, so we have an LDS church right here and it backs up to some public lands. So in this direction, you're pretty much guaranteed to never have neighbors. Never, never really say never, but for, for the foreseeable future. Again, here we have a double slider that is black on the exterior, white on the exterior. Uh, also a very premium touch because over the last few years, um, between glass, like doors and windows, um, you really pay a premium for having a two color door. So other things that we have on this level are two bedrooms and a full bath. Both the bedrooms are pretty good in size and you get some views of uh, just that hillside out back. So nice and private. And then the same thing goes for this bedroom. And this bath has incredible tile detail throughout, beautiful countertops, and it kind of flows right in line with the design features of the rest of this beautiful home. Both of these bedrooms kind of, uh, they, they're designed to accommodate a queen size bed. They have views to the private backyard that we just discussed. So this is kind of an upper level. I'll show you guys, there's a really tall wall in this backyard that from the main level makes that space very private. So if you're thinking about putting a pool in the backyard of this property, it would be ideal and I'll show you why. Because one other great detail that I had mentioned in the intro to this video is the mother-in-law suite, casita, guest suite. What do they call these things in your state? It's a, it's a attached private living space. You could lock this bedroom completely out, but 
I find that people call these bedrooms mother-in-law suites, casitas, en suites, whatever. What do they call them in your state? Comment below. I'm curious to know because I feel like real estate terms are changing literally every day. So here in Southern Utah, it is commonly known as casita or mother-in-law suite. So it has exterior access through these French doors. And as I showed you earlier, it backs up to its own one car garage. So if you have a, a long-term guest staying with you, this could be perfect because you have uh, private living quarters, probably enough to accommodate a king size bed. And then we have an ensuite bathroom. It's a full bath with a single vanity, a toilet and a beautiful bath um, shower combo with ceiling to floor tile. And this uh, space has hard surface flooring throughout and it has a good sized closet. So if you've got somebody staying with you for a while, this may be a perfect space for them. Uh, but I'm curious to know, what do you call those things? Where you come from? Let's check out the exterior space of this beautiful home. So second double slider, and this slider also is black on the exterior to match the exterior finishes and white on the interior. It opens up really wide. In fact, it comes with a built-in screen. So if, you know, during mild weather months, if you wanted to have an indoor outdoor entertainment space it is kind of perfect. So this property sits on a 0.21 acre lot. And since it's a two story house, the footprint of the home is actually not very large, but since it sits on a corner, it's kind of shifted back of the corner of the street. You have a decent amount of space here to put in a good size lap pool and a good amount of privacy from your neighbor in this direction. Now, this is the immediate back of the property and you have you have some space here but one of the other really exciting elements there's a stub out for a guest barbecue but one of the other really exciting elements of this property is that you have a full-size rv pad that has 50 amp power water and the clean out is also possible Friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Check out this video. I'm curious to know if you like our current upload schedule. Do you enjoy these daily video tours? Do you find them useful? What would you like to see more of? As always, if you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, and I see that about 91% of you that are watching these videos have not yet subscribed. What are you waiting for? Press that subscribe button. And right after these words, YouTube will pop up a couple of videos that you may also find interesting.